Hello, and welcome to Casual Run Gaming. This is Jay. Hope you're doing well on this fine Friday evening. Hello, hello. Hope you're all doing well, like I said. We made it to Friday. Congratulations to everybody. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing some more Warframe. Um, just kind of felt like playing something a little faster. Uh, I played a little bit of this offline last night. Farmed a little bit. Didn't do any story type stuff. Just farmed a little bit. Had a little fun. Um, trying to learn the movement a little better. Um, yeah. But um, I think where we left off, we had just built our... Or we put in the foundry to make our arc wing. Oh! And I put this to be made. The uh, heat sword. So now we have a heat sword. Pretty cool. Um, actually, you know what? I think we... Hmm... I don't think I'll use it right off the bat because it's going to be level one and it's going to, uh, I use my melee a lot and I'll probably get destroyed pretty easily. So we're probably not going to use that right now. Um, but I think I collected my, yeah, I think I collected my, um, my arc wing. So, so we have the arc wing now. Let's go over here just to make sure it shows up over, okay, or not. Do I not have it? weird i'm pretty sure i do have it we'll see it in a second i think <laughs> oh let's play with our kubro first make sure uh our kubro stays loyal if that's even a thing <laughs> challenge completed and interact with the kubro or kavat i've done that three times okay, plus a thousand something all right Let's see. The arc wing. Okay. Use the foundry to build the Odinata arc wing. I did that. Congratulations. You've crafted an Okay. Arc that's what I thought. Now I must commence calibration. So oh. By my calculations, this process will take 372 hours. Oh, that does hmm. seem like a long time. It, that, that is a long time. Tenno, this is an urgent mission. Is it? A Corpus scout ship with information about the location of the Grenier Baylor Fomorians has been located. Raid this ship for intel. We need to know everything they do. Okay, but if it requires me to to fly there, it's, <laughs> we're gonna be waiting about 372 hours. So um, it's gonna it's it's gonna be a minute. Yep, Erpo, mobile defense in the Arc Wing. You must possess an Arc Wing and have completed the Arc Wing quest to play this mission. <laughs> But it's it, it's flashing in my face. Like that's what you want me to do. Oh, it's somewhere else. That's what's happening. Okay. Apparently we we can't fly to the place that we have marked on our map already without finding out how to get there. Am I understanding that correctly? Not sure. All right. Tenno, tensions between the Grenier and Corpus are boiling over. You're here to find out what the Corpus know. Okay. Uh, hi. What are you? Oh, they're fighting each other, and I'm getting in the middle of this. Counselor Vay, heck. Oh gosh. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting in the middle of something here. Something is breaking from the void. Oh, 
What are they talking about? They're not talking about me, right? Because I've been here for a few minutes already. Whoa. Yeah, I'm getting in the middle of something here. These, these guys got some beef and I'm getting in the middle of it. What? No, I was... I totally made that jump. This ship is disintegrating. Aborting mission. Get to extraction. Oh, a boarding mission? The ship Sorry. is disintegrating. Ship will not permit extraction this time. Okay. You only have uh -oh. one chance. Ordis. Oh, here we go. All right, so now this is the Arcwing. It's not Guess what? We, we can fly now. Yeah. I can fly. There we go. Cool in theory. Right? Tenno, you need to get to the other side of this debris field where Ordis can safely extract you. Okay. Uh wait, wait, wait. I gotta read that. Oh, it's gone now. Forget it. Why? <laughs> Holy cow, that's fast. What the Oh, look at this. Okay. Apparently there Morian's weapons are designed to destroy capital ships. Don't let them hit your warframe. That Zeppelin just engaged an energy net. You're stuck in here until it's destroyed. Whoa. Okay, I, I I'm assuming that this is what I'm supposed to be destroying. Find cover. Find cover? I don't, okay, the, the the net is down. Apparently, I I did a good thing. I just want to get out of here. This is. They're trying to trap you in an energy net. Destroy that zeppelin to take out the net. How many uh? Does this thing ever have to reload? The arc wing is performing beyond expectations. Is it now? It wow, we it's a zeppelin. Here we go. Okay. I don't remember how this went when I played this on console, but I just remember I did not really enjoy controlling it. It actually controls much easier on mouse and keyboard. Believe it or not. It's a little strange to get used to at first. At first go, but... I'm pretty sure this is as fast as I can go. Cool. And apparently my... my the debris field. Boost is always on. Can I, can I shoot the debris? You can. Look at that. Ordis, can you extract now? Tenno, stand by for pickup. There we go. <laughs> Excellent work, Tenno. I have to admit, that actually feels a lot better on mouse and keyboard. It's a bit rough on, on controller. Uh, for me, anyways. Yeah, that was cool. We now have the tools to take on Vehek and his Baylor Fomorians. Great. His arsenal is growing, but so will ours. There are more Arcwing designs and more weapons. Together, we will take to the skies and confront this new threat. For ten years, I have been polished. Okay, quest complete. The Arcwing. We now have the tools to take on Vehek, Vehek and his Baylor Fomorians. His arsenal is growing, but so will ours. There are more Arcwing designs and more weapons. Together, we will take to the skies and confront this new threat. All right. Cool. Um, I didn't get anything worth out of that, so. <laughs> um, okay, but now. 
arc wing should be in here. Yep. I think this is it. Yep. Okay. Uh, hey, we got to rank two during that. Uh, we have no mods for it. Imper Imperator is the weapon we were just using. It's kind of like a... Almost felt like a chain gun. Yo, it actually has a melee? Not sure how I didn't know that. Um, okay. Cool. Also, I didn't notice if our taxon was out there with us. I don't think it I don't think it comes with us. Now what would be cool is if the Kubro also got an Arcwing. Ordis has been counting stars, operator. All accounted for. Okay, next objective. Phobos Junction on Mars. Reactivate the solar rail by completing the tasks for this junction and defeating its guardian. Um, we have to defeat 150 enemies in a single mission on Mars. Try endless missions such as excavation, survival, or defense. Uh, scan three cephalon fragments on Mars. Equip codex scanners in your gear wheel at the arsenal. One fragment spawns randomly per mission randomly okay so we have um we've opened three lith void relics already um okay so hmm so we have to get cephalon fragments apparently there's one fragment that randomly spawns per mission and we have to defeat 150 enemies in a single mission so they say try doing excavation survival or defense i'd probably do defense um because those i can do uh, as public, unless if they limit it to solo, um, because they consider it part of the story. I'm not sure. All right, so hold on. So they mentioned Arsenal, okay. And what did they say it was codex scanners or something? Oh, I have 25 of them. Look at that. Look at this stuff. Grand finale. Starburst, Remote Observer, Glyph, Prism. Ooh, what does this do? It launches a magnetic prism to display your chosen glyph. Only one may be deployed at a time, and charges are limited. Charges are limited? Okay, so that's there now. Oh, cool, okay. Whoops. Um, What does an Omni do? An Omni is a multi-use railjack tool. Oh, we don't have a railjack yet, but I know what that is. Um, fully restores all ammo types. Sure, we'll take that. Although you never struggle with the ammo in this game. Although, honestly, when I played on console, there was a time where I would go through all my ammo, but it's because I, I think I was trying to do um, missions that were way above my level, and I didn't understand the mod system. So, deploys a short-lived remote camera that overrides your Warframe optics. I, I don't really know what that is. Um, oh, I don't own any. Okay. So this is, these are the only four that I had available to me. And this is what I need. A codex scanner. Beautiful. Okay. So it's on, sometimes we've been coming across things that it's like, oh, scan this. And we haven't been able to. That should allow us to be able to do that. Um, now, all I have to do is remember how to open up the radial wheel. There's a way to do that. And I don't remember. Did he just say okie dokie? I'm pretty sure he said okie dokie. Hmm. Uh, hold on. Gameplay. Controls. Uh, right there. That seemed pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you, the Reaper. How are you, man? How are things going? How was Friday for you? I'm glad it is the end of the week, because next week is going to be bonkers. Customize key bindings. Um, okay. Ear wheel Q? Really? Did I not try Q? I must. Oh, you need to hold it. Okay. I'm going to forget that. Probably, definitely. Okay. Uh, endless mission. So let's go with defense. Although we haven't. Man, I haven't done anything on Mars. 
Everything is good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, did you get your hands on... Well, actually, no. You said you weren't going to get the Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Apparently, from what I've heard from someone who's uh, played them, is that uh, sadly, Super Mario 64 wasn't given the care that it should have. Um, but the other two, Sunshine and Galaxy, both uh, play better than they used to and look great. But uh, that's kind of sad about... Uh, Nintendo 64. About Mario 64. I may pick it up at some point still. I think it'll be fun to play with my uh, family, so. But y'all. What you got planned for this weekend? Doing anything fun? I'm getting some rest and relaxation for sure. Is Super Mario 64 worse now? No, I guess it's better. But... It's still, for today's standards, apparently it's, it's not, it, it ain't it. <laughs> it's not the version, I guess, that we deserve. And the, and the person that, like, made these statements I, uh, trust a lot, because they're a big Nintendo fanboy, and, uh, apparently they must have gotten, like, early access to it or something? I don't know. But I, I, what's funny is that you say that, and I do remember back in the day, the game was rough. Um, and like, and like we've had the conversation, I, I had such a hard time with it because I was so used to the 2D ones that when Mario went to 3D, I had a really hard time with it. All right. I gotta be careful too, because apparently there's one of these things that I have to scan in every area. So, I need to be on the lookout. But yeah, um, I've never played Sunshine or uh, Galaxy, so I would like to play those. Oh! I, I tan science, science are okay. Um, and I thought I heard something that there's rumblings that Mario Galaxy 2 is getting some sort of remaster. Not bad, but uh, must have been the console because mine runs fine. Oh, you mean uh, Mario 64? It's like what I remember of it. Of course, I played it, what? The Nintendo 64... I bought that when I was like... What? 21 or something? So like, almost 20 years ago? I don't remember when it came out. I just remember... I bought it, and... I played a lot of GoldenEye. A lot of Perfect Dark. A lot of cruising USA. And I'm pretty sure that's kind of all I ever played on it. Nineteen ni 1996? Holy cow, wow. It would make sense. That's when I uh, first started to like work a lot. Like, I've been working since I was 14, but when I was 14 and 15, I, 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 worked, I worked during the summer um, at a golf club. And then when I was 16, I got a job at a, at a bank. Yeah, I, I got my... Um, Nintendo 64, I think, like, the day before Thanksgiving. Or, no, I think my sister and I went to Toys R Us on um, Christmas Eve. I got out of work, I went and picked her up, and we went and got the uh, Nintendo 64. And I remember, like, I never owned it, but 
my friend made us rent, uh, I think it was Ocarina of Time or something at some point, or Majora's Mask or something like that. And I, I, I couldn't get into it, but he played that game all night. All night. <laughs> oh! That was not the right choice. Do I remember the virtual boy? Yeah. I remember the red. Hmm, I don't see this thing that I'm supposed to be finding. The scan. When it came out. Oh, wait. Uh, Fabio, how's it going, man? I'm doing well. How are you? How how has your week been? I'm looking for this thing I gotta scan. I'm very confused. I I don't know if it's gonna be in plain sight or if they're like gonna hide it on me or not. <laughs> Have I played one? No. Um, I've never been into um virtual reality type stuff. It nah. For me, it's 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 not for me. Even back then, I think what especially turned me off back then was that the screen, the like everything you looked at in it was red, and uh, it's not what I was used to seeing. So I was like, ah, nah. And plus, like, I I literally would buy like. We've got Other than when I bought all that stuff for the 64, I literally would buy maybe two games a year, tops. Like that's that's it. That's that's all I would get. Let's see. If I do Q and then do that, is that it? I did. Okay. Hmm. I did the thing. There's gotta be a way to take these things down. Oh man. Aw. Well that stinks. Yeah, I I hope we're able to take your your mind off of things for a little bit. Um, hey. It's it's the weekend. That's good, but man, that stinks. That's never any fun. There are only 14 games on the Virtual Boy. Um, I remember one being Virtua Tennis, I think. Was that one of them? And that one looked neat, but still, it was all... It, it was red. <laughs> like, it was so red. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Still haven't found this thing that was supposed to find it. It's not so good. Oh no. Oh, that was a waste. You know what? I think I think I do have a mod or something that I can put in that um will allow me to see items and things, but I I I don't want it to take up a slot. Might come in handy for the Oh no! Oh whoa 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 let's let's not have that equipped anymore. Okay, cool. There we go. No, don't do that. Oh oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh look, that guy was made out of glass. Wario Land in a Punch-Out game. You know what's funny? I've never played a Wario game. Wario became, like, really popular after I was no longer playing Nintendo. Once Wario came, came around and... 
N Nintendo's kind of started doing other things was when I really got into uh, PlayStation. I think that's around that time. Yeah, because in 1998 was when I got my PlayStation. And once I got the PlayStation, my Nintendo 64 became a dust collector. What got me back into gaming um, recently, like, well, most recently, was um, I got laid off from my job in December 2011. And at that point, I would game every now and then, but literally every now and then. It wasn't something very important to me at anymore because, like, I got married and stuff and um, had a lot of new new responsibilities and stuff and um i got laid off in december 2011 and i was like okay well i have a few weeks until my next job starts so and like my wife still still had her her job so i was like i'm home alone we didn't have kids at the time and i'm just like what am i gonna do and then i was like well you know um i got video games and i'm like Oh, well, I never played Mass Effect, but I heard that that's, that that's really good. And so I played Mass Effect, and I was like, dude, that was awesome. I loved it so much, I played it again. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I did that in like a matter of like a week. And then after that, I started playing Fallout 3. And then I was like, this is awesome. I love this. This is great. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And as I was playing that, I also played... Borderlands 1 and I was like this is great and I was like wow have I been missing all this awesome stuff um and then I got my new job and I had to go out to, to Chicago for like three weeks uh at that time um but uh and then I came back and then from there from there on I just kept on playing video games and so that was 2011 and then I found Twitch I believe no wait in 2012, I started watching a lot of Let's Plays on YouTube. And I was like, this is really cool. And then I was talking to, to some friends. And I was like, hey, did I, you know that people do do this? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have you ever heard of Twitch? And I'm like, no, it's Twitch. And they're like, oh, if you like YouTube, I think you'll, like, you'll, you'll, you'll really enjoy Twitch. Because it's alive. You get to, to talk to the people. And I'm like, oh, okay. And checked it out. And I fell in love with Twitch. And then uh, that's kept my love for gaming going and going. Because I think the reason why I fell out of gaming in the first place was just I didn't really know anyone who, who played video games anymore. At that at that point, um, you know, I, I got married and stuff. Uh, I got really into music. So I, so I did a lot of music stuff um, and just didn't really have enough time. And like I would hang out with my wife and whatever. We... We'll go to the movies, go out to eat, thing, things like that. Things to do to spend time together. But yeah, and then eventually got back into gaming. Um, started gaming more heavily too once we had kids just because it was the easy thing to be to like be like, okay, well, we have to stay home. All right, I'm going to start to game more because uh, there's not really an option to do anything else. <laughs> Uh, while having to uh, watch the baby and such. Well, this isn't good. I was supposed to kill 150 enemies here. Which one is better, Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3? New Vegas. New Vegas is the best um, Fallout for me. But 3, three, I, three I have some really fond memories of. Um, oh, gosh. Because it's one of the games that got me back into gaming. And it was my first Fallout. There we go. And then Fall, and then Fallout 4 ha has a special place in my heart too. Like, um, I, I don't think it's as good as the others, but it's cool that you know it's in Boston. I grew up near Boston, so it was neat. Uh, 
I've already been up here. Well, this is unfortunate. I was having a really good time with Fallout 2. Uh, the community wasn't really digging it, so I had to stop playing it, but I still have I still have my playthrough. And once I figure out being able to make a kind of like a schedule for making content to go directly on YouTube and stuff, uh, I'd, I'd like to finish that up because the playthrough is up on YouTube. It's just not finished. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. We, we weren't able... Oh, wait. There's still enemies here. Um, we weren't able to easily find it, so I feel like I'm just wasting time. He didn't even know what was there. I think I was introduced to you when you were playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a fun time. That was such a fun time. It was so good. That took us a long time too, but it was it was worth. That was really really fun. Unfortunately, because of how Mixer wasn't very good about keeping vods, I wasn't able to get the whole entire playthrough. That's why, like on YouTube, there's just random clips, which kind of stinks because uh, it was a lot of fun. Next next time I play, I'm playing it on PC, most deaf. Because it was fun, and I was still having to play it on, on controller and on hardware that was 13 years old. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, we got enough stuff to make the frag or Let's do it. Insufficient credits. Oh, boy. I'm so poor. With mods? Pro probably not, no. I don't... I don't care for mods, really, um, unless if they make the game look better. That's that, and then I know Fallout tends to have issues with um, with stability, so I'll probably play it out of GOG, which already comes with all of the stability patches and everything. So, Ragor, yeah, uh, it's like a, it, it's like some kind of crazy hammer. It's uh, pretty cool. It's actually one of the weapons that I used when I played it on console. Played this game on console. Uh. Infestation level 18 to 23? That? That's way out of my league. 18 to 20? How does it jump from 8 to 10 to 18 to 23 to 18 to 20? Maru's Bazaar. Can I go there now? I can. There's really no reason, but that's cool. It's there. Um, <laughs> mobile defense. The status is 98.5. I don't... Huh? Everything in orders, operator? Is that a pun? That was a pun, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I will attempt to bypass this vault. Oh, they gave us two options. Okay, okay. One is 8 to 10. One is 18 to 20. I feel better now. I was like, what? I was like, am I, what am I supposed to do? Go go back and redo everything? It, but, like, I'm never going to find what I need. But you. You've got what I need. Oh, baby, you. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. You sure can't, because you're not out here. Did I get one? Got it. Whoop. Whoop. Can't jump. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. To a terminal. Right in the Find gross water. In. Woo. Yikes. Crazy contrast. 
Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. Yes, ma'am. Uh, TikTok ban on Sunday. Yeah, I saw that. I, I, I don't. I honestly don't care about TikTok. There's a lot of content that I have respect for, but I just don't consume myself, and TikTok is one of those. Um, I think it's cool that, like, um, the community for it was really huge, and they would come up with some funny things every now and then, but uh, I wouldn't, like I, like, I wouldn't go on there looking for things or anything. Like, there's just not enough time, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the demographic that they were going for, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much the demographic that no one goes for. <laughs> wow. You like TikTok? You like the TikTok? Yeah. Upload me and prepare to defend. Oh, you know what stinks is that we're flying through this. <laughs> we're flying through this, and I'm supposed to be looking for that <laughs> for those things to scan. Well, rip, rip things. Oh, okay. The only reason why I see some of the stuff from TikTok is because a lot Still of people on who it. are on Continue TikTok to tend to uh, upload to Twitter as well. So that's how I end up seeing a lot of that stuff. But like I said, like a lot of it's just not not for me, and a lot of it is like kind of like hot take stuff, and I really don't like that. Um. Just like I don't like things that are clickbaity, I don't, um, on YouTube, I tend to stay away from anything that's, like, overly flashy, uh, as far as, like, their, um, title card or whatever, or their thumbnail. It just, it, it just, it automatically, without even looking at or watching it, it like, immediately makes me be like, nah, that's not for me. <laughs> like, that's... That's obviously not trying to get my attention. Location reached. Drop me in and Is there a, uh, are there different guns in, the, in in this game? Yeah, uh, but you have to find the blueprints or pay real world real world money. Um, to just be able to buy the item outright, and I don't want to, because this game is 100% free, unless you choose for it to not be. Um, on my console character, I tend to use this um, sniper rifle, which is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know how to get it, though. <laughs> I think I, I've gotten it as, like, um, something from Twitch Prime. Or maybe from like a drop from uh, watching a stream that was playing um, Warframe. But yeah, there's there's all sorts of different stuff. There's all sorts of different stuff, and then each each frame plays plays differently. So like this one is more of a balanced frame, and that's what I like about it. But there's frames that focus more on abilities, which is kind of like the magic type stuff. Uh, ones that. Um, are better with like heavy melee some are better uh as far as speed goes like there's there's all sorts of different stuff and like what you mainly want to get is that you want to get um you want to get the right mods for your build for whatever it is that you're going for 
Um, I'm I'm currently just trying to <clears throat> get through the story, so I don't I don't really have any goals like that currently. And are there brass knuckles in this game? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's, there's like not like brass knuckles, but they have like these crazy gloves with like these like voltage things coming off of them and stuff. I've never used those. Uh, as far as like the melee weapons go, I've used the bow, of course. I've used the hammer, uh, the uh, fragor. I've used um, dual blades, and then I've used like dual axes, like hatchets or something like that. But yeah, I really enjoy this game. It's a lot of the same over and over again, but I'm also someone who played Diablo 2 for thousands of hours. So to me, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> if I enjoy the gameplay loop, I'll, I'll keep on playing. Oh, we can build it, and I'm gonna. We're all out of money now, but... And it takes a half a day. Perfect. <laughs> uh, uh, there, there we go. That's the small version of it. It's gonna be really big, though. It's cool. Hi, Kubro! Did I play Diablo 3? Um... Funny thing, so the game launched in what 2012, and the launch was terrible. And on PC, they uh, they 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 had a demo of it. I don't know if it was like when it launched or just whenever, or like a few months after. And I played it on PC, and I was like, Ugh, "This game moves really slow, and uh, it, like all the drops suck." And I wasn't having fun, so I honestly uh, just was like, "Nope, I guess Diablo 3 is just not for me." And um, then they announced it was coming out for console, and I'm like, really? And I absolutely love the game on console. It plays fantastically with a with a controller. Um, the game just feels different. I think they also sped the game up a little bit. Uh, they changed a lot of stuff, so it was always online, which I don't mind because, you know, like, I feel like four out of five games these days are always online um the only thing that stinks is that if you live in a place that like um either your internet sucks or just it drops a lot like or is like yeah or like you have like data caps and things like that it stinks but i can see that luckily knock on wood i've never lived anywhere that has that like i i don't think where i live has any types of any type of caps and they don't throttle i think but honestly, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. And like that kind of stinks. It, like what what stinks to me is that they didn't go the route that Diablo 2 had. Diablo 2 had an online and well, it, it yeah, it had an online and offline mode, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember that. Yeah. Any other Blizzard games like Warcraft? Did I like? I, I do not like Borka. <laughs> no. Gradivus. I don't understand what this like 35.3 stuff means. Defense. Here we go. This will be good. Do I play any of the Blizzard games? I don't think so. Um, never played Overwatch. Never played War... Well, I've played Warcraft and I still have it. Um, I was never really a big fan or anything. It was fine. Um, never played StarCraft. Um, the enemy is at our also, like, um, you must defend our World of Warcraft, never played that. Arrive. They they make a lot of games that are just not my type of games. Like they're Like, they're not for me. That got stuck real nice. I haven't played any Valve games. Um, I started Half-Life 1 years and years ago. But to be honest, it freaked me out. Um, I was really, really bad at it because I wasn't good at PC games. Um... So I never finished it. I I would like to go back. And now they have Half-Life Black Mesa, which I believe is just a, 
a remake. And I'd, I'd like to play that at some point. Um, Left for Dead 2, I've played that, but I never beat it. Um, that's a lot of fun. That's a really good game. Um, what else did Valve make? I believe they made Dota, and I, or they own Dota or something like that. No, that's that's not my type of game. I have played a little bit of, of League of Legends, and I think as much as I think it's cool, it's not it's not for me. It's way too competitive. Oh, and Counter Strike, I played the crap out of out of Counter-Strike when it was first a thing way back in the day. Played a lot of Counter-Strike. It, My uh, friends for a while, it was either Diablo 2 or Counter-Strike. Whenever we got kind of sick of Diablo 2 and we're just waiting for updates, we'd play Counter-Strike. There's glass resonance in your neighborhood. Right. Yeah, but uh, but uh, Dota is, and that's why I was saying like Dota and League are very similar because they're both MOBAs. Time to smash some glass. And I'm just really not into competitive games, and um, MOBAs to me just look like another version of an RTS, and I'm just like, nope. <laughs> like I'm just like I, you know, as much as I respect. The genre, it's not, it's not for me. Oh, I gotta. Is that it? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that what I'm actually supposed to do to those? Portal? No, I've never played Portal. I own that on like maybe three different platforms. I still haven't gotten to play it. I'd really like to. <laughs> that's that's one that I'm really sad I haven't played. It's just there's no time. Team Fortress 2, never played it. Um looks cool though. It's really old, so. I've watched people play it. Oh, you're, you're uh, talking about Team Fortress 2? Yeah, it's been free for a long time. Saw so, so a lot of people oh, playing it. Yeah, I guess for a game that's that old. I'm kind of surprised. Man, I keep on getting the same mods. Crazy. Gotcha. Genre is pretty much dead at this time. Um, You think so? Maybe competitive RTS, I would say. Um... Cause is cause aren't the Total War games and Warhammer games that are that are RTSs like really good? Um, a couple of other ones that I think people really like. I actually own some of them just because they've been they uh, usually when PC games tend to have a giveaway or like some sort of giveaway. Uh, RTS is tend to be a one of the main ones that they tend to give away. You know what I used to play a lot on a PC? Was um Sims 1. I thought Sims 1 was great. 
I I used to go onto like the website and download like all all sorts of furniture and stuff. That was fun times. Yeah, that's another game that I used to play a lot of was uh, Sims. That was, that was another one of those games that like when there wasn't anything uh, to do in Diablo 2 or or needed some some sort of break from it. Um, Sims 2. I mean, Sims was uh, one of the games that I would defer to. I mean, only Total War in a game called Iron Harvest. Uh, so no new War Memory RTS. There's there's other RTSs though that have, that have come out that people have really liked. Um, just the thing that I see happen is that the game is hot for like a week, and then all of a sudden no one plays it anymore. Um, this might be crazy, but I, I thought I heard something about some sort of remaster for, um, Halo Wars or something. I might have dreamed that, but I feel like, I feel like I heard that. Or maybe rumblings of a, of a Halo Wars 3? Uh, I'm gonna leave because I only wanted to do it so I could unlock things. Oh, and now I know why things were weird. I probably should have made it public. That's all right. Didn't get as many credits as I wanted. Oh, also we didn't kill 150 em uh, employees. Oh boy, that's not what I meant. Um, 150 enemies. Do I know what they're called? Um, what the game? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't, I, cause I, cause I don't play them. I tend to watch a stream, cause um, the people that I follow. There's one guy in particular who really likes to play all of the new RTSs that come out. Um, at least of a certain genre. And I tend to watch him if I'm gonna watch one. Hmm. Let's unlock this place. I'm not going to do the actual, like, uh, little puzzle that they put in there, but. Only new RTS games are remasters like Age of Empires. Oh, well, there's an Age of Empires new one that's coming out. Yeah, I, I played Age of Empires a long time ago. Um, I did not enjoy it because <laughs> my friends would use me, um, as bait, <laughs> basically. Welcome to Maru's Bazaar. You trading, or are you looking to pull some endo from Iatan treasures? Hey, welcome to my bazaar. Tenno from all over this. Hey, shiny. You know about endo, right? Those particles you use to boost your mods. Mm-hmm. Well, the Orican must have shared your fascination with it. Keep a lookout for their Ayatan sculptures. Those things run on Endo. If you don't want the ornaments for your ship, I can extract the Endo from them. The more complete the sculpture, the more Endo I can extract. Just keep in mind, I keep the leftovers, okay? You keep the leftovers? Get out of here! And keep the leftovers. No. I take it with me. There we go. So now we know what that is. <laughs> Okay, so so there is one coming out. Yeah, and they just remastered um what, 3 or something or maybe all of them. I'm not I'm not really sure which ones, but I know people really enjoy them. Oh, and then there's also <laughs> I mean, the franchise has fallen out of grace, but there's Command and Conquer, right? Like that's a thing, right? Um hmm. I guess let's do this. Let's annul y'all with the sabotage. Remember that my grandfather loved Age of Empires? A lot of people did. 
it was cool looking and stuff. Like, I didn't mind if I didn't play against my friends. So playing against my friends was really difficult because they wouldn't really tell me how to play the game. So I was really slow, didn't understand what it is that I was supposed to do. So it just was not fun. And it kind of ruined those games for me. Holy cow! <laughs> Boogie boo. Now I'm stuck. Upload data mass to terminal. Okie dokie. Okay. Whoa! Stuck again. Master's uh, last real Command & Conquer was a mobile game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which made the community very upset. Yep. Um, speaking of mobile games, do you remember Diablo Immortal? Remember that? Oh, whoops. I didn't pick up the uh, data mask. Whoops. I left it all the way up there. Whoopsies. Okay. Yeah, so Di Diablo Immortal. I can I I was actually watching that and <laughs> and heard the guy with the what? You have phones, don't you? And I even I was just like, <laughs> like, why would you say that? <laughs> like, oh man, you so don't know your audience. <laughs> like that, that, that was the wrong call there, man. Yep. That poor guy too, man. <laughs> he, uh, his Twitter was on fire. <laughs> uh. Uh, where is this react? Oh, okay, so it's not in this room. Got it. Have you heard about what happened to Warcraft Re Remaster? Um, I remember when it came out, people really were really upset about it. Apparently, um, the version that they showed when they unveiled it didn't actually match what they ended up releasing. It was... Is that what happened? They uh, basically pulled the watchdogs on everybody. Speaking of Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2 is free on Epic Game Store for the next week. Pretty sure they gave it away last year or something too. And they also gave it away on um, on Uplay like a few weeks ago. Now I can remember that that game was actually uh, it came free with my like SSD or something years ago. <laughs> Whenever it first came out, it, 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 it came with my SSD. Or an SSD that I bought. Yes, and also sometimes the game can look worse than 
more stiffer than the original one. Oh no! And the original one only ran at like 20 FPS, right? Like that. Like that was like the standard FPS back in the day. <laughs> Mm, all right, hold on. Can I? Oh, I can go through here. Look at that. Hold on. Get wrecked. You too. Gotcha. Your friend tried to warn you. You didn't listen. Hmm. Get up there. Do it. Do it. Oh, goodness. Forget it. Thirty eight thirty FPS on my thirty two megabit hard drive. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it was weird to think that 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 like there was a time when if you played games on PC it wasn't high high frame rates. And like it was like it was like console was was like the the thing. No! Get up there, nope! Get back here. Turn that thing off. Yikes. No. I was just standing in the, in, in the window. PC definitely took off in the mid 2000s. Um, yeah, yeah, I I I agree. Um, I can remember once Diablo 2 came out. That was a really big thing for PC. Uh, Half Life was really big for PC. Um, I don't remember what else. It was at well Sims, Sims as well, like really big. So I'm trying to think of like things that my friends played, because uh, my friends played a lot more PC games than I did. I was mainly into console because it was controller and it was could play it on my TV. Hmm. Man, I don't like having a search for these things. <laughs> It's funny, I, I'd always find them when I wasn't looking, and then now that I'm looking, forget about it. Never find them. Like surprisingly, my my friends were never into like Fallout One and Two. Now now that I think of it, they they were never into that. They were never into CRPGs.
Or at least I didn't know that they played them. Doom. Yep, they, they play Doom. Um, they played Quake. But mainly, uh, their their favorite of like those types of games was uh, was Wolfenstein 3D. I would go to my friend's house and his dad would, would uh, boot that up for us. I wouldn't really play just because it didn't feel natural for me. Uh, so I'd, I'd watch my friend play. He was much better at, the, at playing it. My, my family also didn't have, like, a PC until I was, I don't know, maybe 14 or so. And we got one for the house. And then, and then when I was, like, 18 or 19, uh, my friend built my first one for me. And then I built another one when I was, like, 21. What about Wasteland? No. They they never played that because I remember when Wasteland 2 got announced and they were like, oh my gosh, it's a sequel to Wasteland. And I was just like, what the heck is Wasteland? <laughs> oh, and by the way, so they came out with Wasteland Remastered not too long ago um i tried playing that on console and that game is um <clears throat> is dated a bit well put together operator now get out there and cut down the and make the lotus proud yeah i i, I played it for like an hour or so and as much as I thought, like, oh, okay, cool. Like, all right. I get what it is. It's very, very dated um, game gameplay-wise, especially. So, it didn't keep my attention for very long. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go back to it. It was one of those games where, like, my PC was doing something, so I couldn't play on there. And so, I just uh, played something on the Xbox that I hadn't played before. And that was, that was my pick for the night. I tend to... Uh, do that every now and then give a game a chance and uh, see if it wows me and if it does great if it doesn't oh well that game's on game pass anyways so like it was like a, whatever I'm not really paying for it well I pay for it but not this is the way I see it did you beat Bioshock Infinite I sure did that's like I it I I was saying it was my favorite game of all time but that's kind of hard now I think it's my favorite It's, it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's like right up there. But the more I think about it, like I'm just like, man. But Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 3 and Secret of Mana really kind of defined what I like about games. Top 10 or top 5. Stand by while I I want to say it, it's it's my top game. experience of Error. all time. Not a number. For me, it was the, the, the experience. Mm. It's the top experience for me of, of my life. Uh, for personal reasons, mostly. Because I know that a lot of people are just like, that, that, that game is terrible. I can't believe that story is so awful. And I'm like, I, I like the story. And then it had significance to me. Um... But yeah, like as like as far as game game goes, though, I I think Chrono Trigger is my favorite. The Secret of Mana is my second, and Final Fantasy III might be my third. And what's funny is that I've actually been thinking, like, you know what? I think I should sit down and try to come up with like my top ten favorite games, top ten favorite, or I'd have to do like top three or top five after that for like favorite R RPGs and things like that. Just because I haven't played too too many games um, since I did take a big long break from a. Uh, from my video games and like i said like i i used to like play games to the ground um 
I didn't really have a lot of money, so I feel like if I got a new game, it was like I wanted this game more than anything. So. Dang it. Hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make this public, and we're gonna do this. Oops, I didn't even see if there was another squad. Ah, right, whatever. I think people were mad about the story because of how confusing it is, or was. Um, I guess. But I mean, there's always these days. Like, it's really hard to have that complaint when we have so many resources, right? That uh. We can read or go on YouTube. And uh, people do like lore videos and things like that. So like we 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 live in a pretty blessed age as far as that goes. <laughs> um I don't know. And for me it was so interesting that I I I may not understand it hundred percent or like someone might be like that's actually not what they meant. But for me it's what it meant in certain things and you know what it's a video game i enjoyed it very much with the story that i thought it was trying to tell me and i really enjoy it and time travel <laughs> i still need to play the dlcs though i never got to finish uh the, or never, never got to play the dlcs so someday I think the whole series is great, though. I think Bioshock is <laughs> crazy good. I even enjoyed Bioshock 2, which is one that some people say they just don't like. Um, I never got to play Minerva's Den, though. I do own the DLC, but I never got to, never got to play it. That's the problem with me and DLC is that unless if I'm able to get to it within the game almost without even knowing, I'm probably never going to play it. Um, that's why in New Vegas it worked out so well. It really worked out well for two reasons. Uh, one, I kind of just found where those things were happening <laughs> to, to begin with. And I had chat to help me. Um, like, hey... This is the DLC area or something, or this is part of the DLC. You know, if I play a game, like, by myself, I'm very stubborn when it comes to, like, oh, you should look that up on on Google. I'm like, no. That's not the game was meant to be played. <laughs> so, if I, if I have friends that I'm playing the game with, it's different. Like, hey, that, that friend told me how to do such and such. That's fine. But if I have to, like, go look for it, and I'm just playing, like, by myself, I get annoyed and I never want to look on the internet or anything for it. I'll just sit there and suffer. I like how I feel like that gets them through the wall. If you go back to one decade, which would you go back to? The 90s. Uh, which DLC was your favorite in New Vegas? Um, I think it was called Honest Hearts. You know which one was not my favorite? The Treasure of the Sierra Madre one or whatever that's called. I did not like that. Well, no, I, I don't want to say I didn't like it. I don't want to say that. It was the weakest out of all of them. It was the weakest. I um, The setting was really bland and feels like it was never finished. A couple of the characters were cool. Um, 
the one with the best dialogue and everything though was um the one with the robots that one was great as far as like the dialogue went but actual like decision making and stuff i really enjoyed the one uh the uh, honest hearts one I'm even surprised that I remember what it was called. Oh, de dead money was. W wait, dead. Um, dead money was the one. Another opportunity to extract will appear at the Sierra Madre, right? Old Old World Blues is my favorite as far as the dialogue goes, and lore. Um, that's my favorite, as far as that goes. But in uh, the whole package kind of a way. I like Honest Hearts the best. Is, is that also the one that had the Gunrunner's Arsenal? Was that, was that New Vegas? Oh, you got a lot of health. Lonesome Road. Lonesome Road was the one that kind of ended the game, right? That one was cool. Um, I like the fight at the end. I thought, I thought that was cool. Um, I think the significance it was supposed to have was missed with me for some reason. Like it, like, like it was lost on me for some reason. Just didn't have the impact for me. I think, you know what's funny is that I, I feel like Honest Hearts um, affected me more because one of the voice actors was the guy from the Walking Dead, uh, tell, tell game. <laughs> and he dies right, right at the beginning. And I was like, well, what the heck? Now I'm mad. Like, he must be avenged. It has to happen. They never made it to the promised land or whatever it was that they were calling it. What does the GRA stand for? I don't remember. I gotta be honest, I'm I, I'm really surprised that I remember as much as I do about that game. Uh, just because my my memory really sucks, and especially because we played that game. How many years ago has it been now? Three, two, two, three, two, two, three. No, nah, I think it's been two years. It's been two years, I think, since since we played New Vegas. What? I thought I saw somebody here. Gunrunner's Arsenal. Okay. All of the DLC except for Honest Hearts have a ha have a backstory that all connects together. Okay. You know what, too? I feel like 
New Vegas was written so well that they honestly could have done a spin-off of New Vegas. Yeah? You think? Especially like, you know, we pick up ten, 10 years later and things have slipped away from um, from your character, like whichever ending that they they, they pick as canon, which, you know, things things have not gotten better, or they or things were good and then all of a sudden things went bad again. You know, they they relied on too much of something, whichever ending that they went with, and things got really messed up. I don't know. I feel like the world was good enough to be able to do that. They only had eight, 18 months to make it in Fallout New Vegas 2. Yeah. Um, I doubt that'll ever happen, but... <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, an Outer Worlds 2. I wonder if the Outer Worlds 2 will be more of the Fallout-style game, because they're going to have all of the Microsoft money behind it. Although, Obsidian is, is pretty busy with Grounded and stuff, so I don't know. Okay, a lot of these enemies are not things that I'm used to seeing. <laughs> Let's see, what are they gonna do? Alright. Cool! Very impressive, Tenno. You held them all back. Time to get out of here. Did I actually complete the 150 enemies? No, maybe? 100 melee kills. Probably should should have just kept on going. Yo, they look cool. They look real cool. Thank you for the squad guy. Well, I kind of uh, embraced Bethesda a little bit. Remember, uh, they're making Avowed. Yeah. I don't know how many teams they have at Obsidian. It'll be interesting. I know that Xbox also has... Um, I say Xbox. Uh, Microsoft also has In Exile. And In Exile just released Wasteland 3. Kind of makes me wonder, like, what are you working on now? Hey, Alex, how's it going, man? Hey, perfect that you're here. Uh, so yesterday, there was it yesterday? My my week has been a blur, by by the way. Um, I meant to keep on posting stuff in the Discord. I haven't been in the Discord in days. But, um, buddy, can you catch me up on all of the goings-on with Monster Hunter, please? Because I, I, I'm unfortunately... I didn't get to see it unravel, and then now it's just an absolute mess of stuff that just keeps on getting tweeted about and stuff. Cosmic background radiation is a riot. It kind of embarrassed with us a little bit. Oh, you mean New Vegas? <laughs> yeah, come on. I mean, it's sad because it's like, you know, Bethesda has a lot of money, so it's like you should have a better writing team, and it, it, it doesn't feel like they do. You know, like, it's just like I said, like, when when I play something like Skyrim or something, I like the side content in it more than playing through the story. You know? What is that? Select a mission to join a crew. Earth Proxima. I don't know what this is. Oh no. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what I just did. Reaper, take, take care, man. And I hope you have a good weekend, dude. It was nice to talk to you, man. Take care. Oh, man.
so Capcom announced two new Monster Hunter games, Rise and Stories 2. Stories 2. Was there a Stories 1? I don't remember it. Rise is going to be the next actual Monster Hunter release. Oh, so is that going to be on PC and on next-gen consoles? It's going to be on the Switch, and it's like classic Monster Hunter. Oh, oh okay. Okay, so it's a Switch-only Monster Hunter. It's a class classic Monster Hunter with lots of new age sensibilities from World. Okay, so basically they announced a new Monster Hunter for Switch. And what's the difference between Rise and Stories? Also, you said Stories 2. Is it actually? Or did you mean the, the word 2? Like, or, or as well, also. Uh... Womp. Okay, so we did a defeat 150 in, in enemies in a single mission. We did that. All right, so we have to find Cephalon Fragments. <sighs> One fragment spawns randomly per mission. That is annoying. Mario, how's it going? It's good to see you. How are you? Stories 2 is a sequel to Monster Hunter Stories, which was released on 3DS, and Stories plays like a Pokemon game, but with monsters from Monster Hunter. Will also be Switch exclusive. So they announced two Switch games, is what they ended up doing. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, hey, I guess that's cool. Um, I don't want to play Monster Hunter on my Switch. I need you to get so, inside enemy I'm happy that I'll eventually start playing it on PC. Finally. Yeah, it's 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 been pretty pretty active. Um and it it's just been tough to like see like okay, like what exactly is is going on? <laughs> like and then I'm like, "You know what? I'll wait to talk to Alex." Because Alex and Shadow are like my Monster Hunter guys. And they know everything about Monster Hunter, so... And I'd, I'd rather talk to people about it instead of just reading stuff on Twitter about it. Oops! I'm pretty sure that's not how I was, how I was supposed to do that. Oh, we're fine now. I need fragments. Oh no! Who pulled the alarm? Jerk. Ah! That was a toughie. I don't know why, but my um my frame rate's a little a little weird right now. Okay, I think you've I think you've watched that before, right? <laughs> Always climbing around. Okay, this could be bad. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. There we go. Man. You guys hear that? It's aminals. Whoa, what just happened there? I've never done that before. It's like a super high jump. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now and they will start destroying the data. Okay. No! Data destruction is imminent. Oh my gosh, come on.
Get up there. Where is it? Oh, thank God. What was that guy doing in here? Screw that guy. <laughs> what was he doing in here? Turn the alarm up. Or wait, that's the elevator. Never mind. We're good. Oh. Did, this, did these things break? Been two parties in the what will be the next one, huh? The argument. People like me were positive there'd be a new handheld. Oh. Well, so many people have a Switch. Of course they're going to want to have a Monster Hunter on there. <gasps> Is that it? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Why is that not working? <gasps> oh. I did it. Mars has been found, everybody. Mars found. I don't know why that took so long to choke that guy, but whatever. The Good Dinosaur is a good movie. My kids have, have uh, watched it. It looks sad, so I don't really want to watch it. <laughs> um, looking at the details, the facts and nuance info that made it obvious to me that there would be a new handheld. It's basically about a Aptosaur, a long-necked dinosaur named Arlo that gets uh, separated from his mother and his siblings and has to find a way to get home. But there's a human kid in it too, right? Am I thinking of the right movie? <laughs> it's the blue orb of helpfulness, exactly. Also, kindness. <laughs> yeah! That hurt. Yeah, it makes sense that, that, that they'd have... The target console is That they'd have a... um. The enemy will start destroying data. What the what? Why did that get triggered? That's weird. Um, yeah, it just makes sense. It, like, that's the thing about the Switch. Even Warframe is is on the Switch. As as much as it probably doesn't run it super well, people still want to play it on the go. So. Why am I not able to get in there? What am I missing? Dude! Not cool! Not cool. I had already done this. Oh no, I did that over there. That's what happened. Never mind. Never you mind. You know what? I don't think I've ever done it this way. Um. Whoa, whoa. Nope. Let me down. Don't bring me down. Bruce. No, dang it. No. Oh my gosh. What? Let me through. Oh my goodness. No, what's it doing in there? Wait, it's right here. <laughs> oh my. Stress. You got it. The data is still intact. Yeah, Japan is huge on uh, mobile gaming. That, that's true. Like that's why I'm just kind of like, nah. They, they still have a market for it. It makes sense. <laughs> like, and people are still gonna play World for a while. And I'm sure, we, we, we will not have to wait 
too too long for another like Monster Hunter World type game. I'm sure it'll be another like maybe two years. And hopefully next time they do a better job with the PC release. Where are they coming from? Void. Who did this to them? What the heck? There's gotta be a way to take these things. What happened to you? What? You hate your job? That's too bad. You came back to life! That's not fair. <laughs> There's a human child in the good dinosaur. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. I'm actually hoping that um, xCloud is uh, going to be successful, but honestly, I probably wouldn't want to play anything competitive or that I need to be, like, on for. Like, actually play well. So. Oh, no. Can I not go through here? There we go. Bingo. A clean extraction with no alarms. No alarms, she says. Get to extraction. Well, at least this one was, I guess. Grand, grand scheme of things. Estimate World 2 gets announced end of next year with it releasing another year after. Yep, makes sense. Hopefully, I'm, I really want it to come out on PC at the same time. I really, really do. As much as I enjoyed it on console, it, it it's still the whole time I was thinking, man, it would be great if this like could hold a frame rate. Well, Oh, nope, that's that's not the way. Let's -a go. Nope. Nice. Um, if that doesn't happen, we'll get Rise Ultimate in 22 and then World in, two, in, in uh, 2020. Rise Ultimate. So would that be kind of like how they like to do like Marvel versus Capcom? Ultimate Edition. You mean like that? It's basically just like the same thing, just with everything. Yo, we got a Metal Auger. Whatever that is. Yeah, my my frame rate. There's something going on. Weird. Um, punch through for the rifle? <laughs> it has 10 drain. Wow. Um... Uh, puts game in PC. It's time to become a tit yeah. Well, my PC is a potato. There's something going on. I don't know if you're noticing, but there's definite um. There's a lag every now and then. There's something. Eleven hours left. <laughs> We're gonna sit here the whole entire eleven hours. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be great. It's a laggy, but it's a laggy baggy. Um, could I, mm, maybe our rifle aptitude status chance? Let's do it. Operator, did you hear that? It said. I'm not sure if it's a good one to. Upgrade, but we're gonna do it. 
Cool. Ultimate to the old games is what Iceborne is to world. Okay. So it's an expansion. Okay. Except they would be full releases instead of expansions. Okay. Well, I, you know, Iceborne to me was, was honestly a completely different game that they called an expansion. And to me, it was kind of like, hey, Monster Hunter World sold really, or is doing really well. What if we just take the engine, put it somewhere where all this ice is, take all these monsters that we've made before, and put it out as an expansion, and make people feel better that they're only paying 40 or $50 for the expansion instead of a full game. But they need to have the base game first. What do you say? <laughs> That's exactly... I I was in the meeting. Okay? I was there. I was the fly on the wall. I am the fly guy. They be ice monsters. They are. They be ice monsters, they be. That's a... That was a pretty good pirate there right or is, is it me or does he sound like a ghost in destiny yep exactly that actually <laughs> iceborne flopped sounds like iceborne did not flop <laughs> iceborne was huge and for very good reason because it, it it was better than monster hunter world in quite a few ways yeah iceborne iceborne is really good <laughs> really, really good. Hmm. See, I like... I guess... Quick draw, maybe? It's just that I don't use my sidearm <laughs> much. So I'm kind of like, should I upgrade these? Like, I don't know. Might as well. We'll always get more resources. It's it's always just a matter of time. I sounded like a pirate with an Australian accent. No, I am not equipped to feel envy. Hey, two birds, one stone. Iceborne as a whole is just world but better, which is generally how ultimate uh, games went. The clutch clock can kick rocks. Thop though. Oh oh, you don't like it. Um, the problem with the clutch claw is that I always forgot that I had it. <laughs> like, I would just always forget, like, oh, yeah, I have a clutch claw. I should use that. I just always forgot about it. Who uses their sidearms in video games? Remember in Halo 1, the re the revolver, or not the revolver, the whatever pistol it was? Man, that thing was awesome. Clutch claw, yeah, in uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne, not in the base game, but in Iceborne. They added this claw that would allow you to basically grapple onto the monster and hit it in certain areas to do more damage. Um, and then eventually, if you got it tired enough, you could bash it into a wall. It's pretty cool. Hey, Shadow! How's it going, my man? How are ya? What you up to, dude? Uh, which was a problem because it was so important in fighting hunts at peak efficiency. Yep. Yep. True, true. All right, so we need to get two more of those things. I guess we just keep doing things and hopefully we'll find them. You know what? Hold on. Um, One fragment spawns randomly per mission. I swear that's not true. I swear it's not true. Um, there's rescue. There's capture. And there's excavation. We're going to do capture because that's easy. Just woke up from a sugar crash. What did you have, man? What did you have? I've been craving jelly beans. I'm actually like, as soon as we end stream, I'm actually going to order some jelly beans and stuff from uh, Target to pick up tomorrow. I I, I need I need a, a treat. It's been a week. Claw. Wallbang, soften, wallbang, monster enrages, mount monster. Yeah. 
I, I agree. Capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. What I'm hoping is that the next time I play Monster Hunter, that I kind of, you know, keep keep that in the forefront of my mind and really try to um, use it right off the bat. That that was a stealth kill? Really? We cannot let our target know we're here. Track them down quickly. Trying. Seems seems like they're running pretty fast, which is kind of odd. Whoa, did he just disappear? He did! Come on, get it. Mission Got it. Complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. You remember well the done. plasma pistol? No, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you could uh, knock out the shield from the little guys if you use that. Yeah. But I, I, I really enjoyed the pistol. That thing you could snipe. You could snipe with that. Hey, hey, duck, duck. Whoa. That dude had a shotgun. Uh. Ah! A lot of enemies. I must have angered them. Nice. Nice. Three pound bag of Starburst? Mmm. What color is your favorite one? Mine's orange. Yeah, I was unconsciously putting them in my mouth before I realized if they were they're gone. I was overheating like I was sick, but I didn't care because I was so hyper. <laughs> so did you stay up like all night playing Monster Hunter? Um, fast deflection. Plus 15% shield recharge? Nani? Um, okay, cool. Uh, that was cool. That was cool. Are you sure you didn't have alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Junko and talk to you about how you love each other. Uh, he does it every night before he goes to bed. Pretty sure. Um, yo, knife, how's it going, man? What is up? How you doing? If I may say, operator, your chosen warframe suits you. Uh, oh man, and we have the room. Apparently, the game thinks that it's not very important. What? Oh, it's flawed. No, it's fast deflection. That that that's what I want. Uh Hmm. <sighs> hmm. This is plus 20% shield capacity. Which is a lot. This one recharges it faster. Hmm. All right. We... Did I do that right? <laughs> I've been told as long as it's not red, you're good. Operator, did you hear that? It said... Cosmic background radiation is a riot. Okay, so we can upgrade this. Fast deflection. I'm not even sure if that's actually good, but it looks like it's good. You 
45% faster shield recharge. 60%. 75%. Oh, man, and then we're out of money. I'm gonna do it, though. Ooh, boy. Yeah. You were shaking so much, uh, you couldn't work a controller. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Shadow had a Jinko poster. He talks to it every day. <laughs> Why would you say that? Mm, I want some jelly beans, though. I'm a jelly bean fiend. Not the ones that taste like popcorn or anything like that. No. Um, Let's do rescue first because I don't really like those. So, get that out of the way. I'm sure I'm gonna forget, but I I, I should keep an eye on um my shield recharge. <laughs> here that is vital to our operations. Search for the holding location. Are uh, you not max rank or whatever in a uh, no, for you? Or did you start a new character? Got energy out of that. I was hoping it was Endo. Alright, so. Oh, get wrecked, dudes! The heck was that? There's no telling what the captors are doing to our rescue target. You need to find the holding cell immediately. Hey, I'm stuck. Oh, I didn't realize that I had my game open for other people to join. Oh, well, okay. That's that's probably why I'm experiencing a little bit of lag. Oh no, dude, you dude, you need to work the other one. Work it. Oh no. There we go. I was gonna say he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, he left. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Probably like, um... Like, it sounds like this guy's talking to himself the whole time. I wonder what he's doing. Uh-oh. Turn off the alarm. You are approaching the is G area. is G Careful. rank the highest? If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Go. Oh gosh. Get him. No execution sequence. Ah, punk. Ba -doop, ba -doop. Wow. Thank you. First try, actually. You've located the hostage. Escort the prisoner to the extraction point, and I'll take care of the rest. Weapon. No, I do not have an extra weapon, guy. We're getting out of here. Did 
Don't get stuck over there. It's bad for you. All right, cool. We out. Whoop. You did. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I think I'm, I think I missed something. Uh, you were telling some person who wasn't using Estus to use their Estus, or they didn't know that there was such a thing. There was a neighbor I had within the us. Oh, it stinks. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for the GG. I tried very hard. <laughs> Vapor Spectre. So these things are interesting. Um, they're basically like, sounds like um, decoys. It. I, I I don't think there's ever a time to use it, but who knows? It could be part of the story. No idea. He glitched the game. Somehow he glitched it out. He got past the undead asylum without his Estus flask and therefore had no healing and couldn't get... Th oh, no! So then he had to start over. Well, hello there, Winston. I hope you are enjoying your frisbee. Frisbee, you say? Frisbee? Hmm. Okay. Look at my doggo over here. You're not. Operator, you're not did you hear that? Pet the doggo it's again. A... It just appears out of nowhere. It's really special. Also, we don't even really have to touch it to pet it, so. Yeah, kind of a special dog. Also, talks, so. <laughs> um, excavation. No, no, no. Escape, escape. Ah, these guys are gonna hate me. Oh, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll do it in a squad. Whatever. It'll probably go faster. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, look at this guy. Oh, and this guy's using a Fragor. We're here in search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. The Hello? scanner has picked up a target. Apparently the game does not It does not like what I'm trying to do here. Got it. Um, uh, haven't seen any of the guys who actually have the power cells. There's a lot of enemies here, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, right there, got one. Pick it up. Got it. We've got signals singing the what? Same song what just happened there? <laughs> Whatever these satellites have become, there's no going back. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. Here's another one. Thirty-three seconds. Yeah, the game is being a little silly right now. It's lagging a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the host. 
I think there might be something strange going on. We did it! 100 endo? Nice! Oh, oh boy. Oh, I'm still holding on to one of these things. Whatever. <laughs> there we go. I'm here. Excavator deployed. <laughs> it's a talking dog, yeah. Extracts the artifact. It's really expensive. Beat the game with no Estus, wow. The scanner has picked up the target. <laughs> Go to the dig site. Oh wait! The excavator has lost power. They're Find they're. I think they're still doing more of them. <laughs> I just took off. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Oh come on! I can swim. Whoa! complete. Look what we found. Good job. I I still got the reward for the it. Has run out of power. Find a cell. Ooh, Gallium. <laughs> you guys are you're doing great. Keep up the good work. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, hold on. Robots can swim. Also, they're cyborgs, I think, right? I don't know. I haven't gotten far enough in the, in the game to like actually know what they are. Holy cow. I feel bad that these guys obviously wanted to keep on uh, doing these. Finally. I feel like this just goes on forever, though. I don't think there's ever an actual ending until everyone decides to, uh, extract. Wait a second. I think I know why they're uh, they're doing these because they want uh, the endo. I guess I, would, I guess there must be endo farms or farming. Is an robot with a body a human mind program in? I I I don't know. <laughs> Incendi incendiary coat. There's a new one. All right, let's go. Ooh, we got a relic. What is this? Itan sign star. Okay, very nice. I wonder if there's only a certain number of these. 
another blunderbuss, of course. No return. Wow, we're getting stuff we've never gotten before. Sweet. Whoop. If anyone ever wants to play this with me or whatever, let me know. Um, especially missions like this, where it's kind of guiding you to what's next and isn't exactly anything having to do with story. I don't mind doing um, multiplayer. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Also, I kind of wonder... kind of wonder if this game is, um, cross-play. This one should be done first. I have way too many friendly games that I play. If I can add it to my schedule. Well, what are you playing right now? What game are you playing right now? Like right this second, I mean. And what's good about this game is that it can be as grindy as you want to make it. Like, if I wanted, I could keep this frame, this frame forever and just keep on playing with this one. There's really no, no need to upgrade it unless if you want to play a different style or if you want them to look a different way. There's also... Look what we found. You can also change the look of, uh, like, this base, base frame. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. I was in a little PC, I'm at MR63 working my way to 100. Are, are you playing it right this second though? Like you're playing it right now? I mean, I'm going to be wrapping up soon, but I mean, just in case you ever want to join, you can. Because we brands on Steam. I, I also think, um, like I said, like the game might be crossplay. Not 100% sure, though. Magazine warp. Getting all the things. Are you shooting a Gatling gun? Cause that's that's pretty that's pretty sweet. Sharpened claws. Kavat. Have I ever played Mirror's Edge? No. I do own it though. What's funny is that, like I've started to, uh, okay, so wait. I actually haven't told you guys this either. Um, so last week for school, you know, one of my kiddos had to 
um, say, well, what do you want to be when, when you grow up? And <laughs> she said streamer. <laughs> and I'm like, Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. Um, she said streamer. <laughs> and so I'm like, and my wife is like, I blame this on you. Um, lovingly, though. Um, and then I started thinking to myself, and I'm like, so that's how I I will actually be able to enjoy these games is by my kiddo eventually streaming them for me. Or streaming their playthrough of it. <laughs> and then I'll watch it. And be like, hey, look. I don't have to play the game. Bingo. I can't stop. <laughs> well, you know, they... They, they specifically have teams when making video games that figure out how to make the game more addictive. So, the team that played, uh, that or the team that worked on making that one uh, worked really hard on that. Did a really good job. You like Mirror's Edge? I don't think it's a very long game either, right? Also, how how does it run on PC? Because I have I have it on Origin, so I'm not not sure how that runs. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Yeah, right? <laughs> Mini me will get it done. She'll get it done. She She's the chosen one. I don't know how long the other people that I'm in here with want, want, want to go with this. Um... Two thousand credits. Wow. And like, I don't want to like abandon the mission or whatever, because I honestly, whoa. I don't know if maybe I'll lose out on the reward. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> um, are you actually gonna play the one on on the switch there their shadow? Yeah, I feel like I might be um, But I'm honestly not sure I don't I don't know if this ever it says we've completed 10 10 digs I don't know if there's some some sort of limit I because I think we're getting there because every time you Every time you get to the next dig, the enemies get stronger and stronger. Uh, so I think... Oh, no. Went the wrong way. I think I'm at my limit. Because things aren't dying fast enough anymore. Yeah, it looks like someone is just hanging out at the... Uh, at the extract, so... Oh, never mind. I'm the only I'm the only person here. One of them has a lot of health. 993 health. Cool. And now we wait. 
Oh, apparently I extract no matter what if I wait a minute. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. You want to see more of it? The new flagship monster looks cool. Um, did you ever finish Pokemon? Pokemon, um, uh, Sword? Also, did you ever play Zelda? Look at, look at, I'm pretty sure that's Mesa. That's a frame called Mesa. And they dress it up all in, uh, in red, black, and white. That's funny, that's like the Coke Carnage colors. I wonder if they are in his clan or something. Look at that. Dude, you look doy. You look doy. Doy, you look a doiger. Oh, wow. That's a... Okay. We just... That's actually really good. That was a good haul. I'm not gonna lie. 430 endo. Wow. Uh, let us change this to solo. Kind of fell out of Pokemon Sword. They casualized the game too much. I heard it was really easy. Um, but to be honest, that's 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 good for my situation here because it's like, Let's Go Pikachu was like the first game where my wife and my two kids, well, two of my three kids, of course, the baby's not going to play it. Um, but they really got into it and, um, my my oldest beat it uh beat the game well hasn't done all of the content but my wife did all of the content all of it and uh that that was like the first game that she's ever done a deep dive on so it was good it it's it's a good starter rpg it's it it's good for teaching you a lot of those mechanics and so like a lot of times like they were like i don't know what's going on here or this or that and i'm like well what they're trying to tell you is this and um, so it's cool that I'm like, ooh, they don't know it, but they're playing an RPG. <laughs> but look, it's fun. Pokemon. It's a tunic. Where? You don't play the Legend of Zelda either. I've played Legend of Zelda 1 uh, from back on the NES uh, to A Link to, th a Link to the Past. I never beat e either one of those, but I did play... No, wait. But there was first The Legend of Zelda. I played that one never beat that. Then there was Legend of Zelda, A Link... Uh, was it The Adventures of Link or something like that? Was the second one? I never beat that one, and I didn't really like it. Um, and then... <laughs> um, I thought you bought Zelda, though, Shadow. Did you return it or something? Um, and then the third Zelda that, uh, that I played was A Link to the Past, and I love that. I beat that like two or three times way back in the day. And then Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild is good. Not great to me. It's not your speed. It feels like they really tried really hard to like do like the the big open world thing, but it fell into that thing that I that I'm not a fan of in open world games where it's just huge world beautiful not much going on in it yeah <laughs> but i mean it's 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 a fine game like it's just like okay it's i like it when i play it but when i play it i'm like okay i'm done for a little bit um solid like 6 or 7 out of 10 maybe 6 Oh, you got it for your ex and she took it when she left? Oh. Didn't you just buy the Switch, like, last last winter? Um. Oh, man. We're so close. I'm just waiting for this to be max, and then we'll... Do I have something else? We have the Boltor. We could try that. It's probably going to be garbage. Um, If I remember correctly. You know what? I think it's time. We're going to equip the heat sword. I love the bow, though. There we go. Um, I don't think we can... The capacity is three. <laughs> That's real low. Iron Phoenix. Fast cutting attacks with puncture finish. Ooh. So, apparently my attacks are going to look different now. 
Did I get an upgrade for this? Nope. Currently, I don't have any other frames available. I could buy the blueprints or whatever for for it. Hmm. I, I do have a couple pieces to... What is, it? is there one that starts with like H? Might be this one, Harrow. I think I have like one or two pieces for this or something, but I think I need to buy the blueprint maybe. Look at the helmet on this guy or the head, I guess. Well put together, operator. Now get out there and yo, we have a heat sword and make the Lotus proud. I got our switch and then later on when sword came out I bought a new switch for myself for sword never got breath of the oh, okay uh all right let's go um take a look at this sword let's see let's see what what is this invasion not sure what that means. Um, sabotage and invasion again. Um, let's do sabotage. This may or may not go well. Um, so what happens is, is that now that I equip this weapon, this weapon is at level zero. The other one was at max rank, which is max level, which is 30. <laughs> so, yep. But this thing looks really cool. And this is kind of what I enjoy about Warframe is just like is getting my next weapon or whatever that I was able to build and just see, seeing if I like it or not. And the thing is too is that because it's level zero, I can't put all the mods that I had on it on, so its damage is low, its speed is, is uh, slower than it should be, or not not should be, but it's not as fast as it could be. Also, the move set isn't isn't really um, fleshed out yet either. The reactor is going into stasis. Now is your chance to complete this sabotage. Use whatever you can to make sure it never works again. Okay. Coolant cell extracted. No! Jump! Nope. Uh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Uh. Um, I don't know if I did that right. Not gonna lie. Whoa, I fell! <laughs> that was probably actually a good thing. Oh no. <gasps> oh no! I'm frozen or something. Oh come on! They're they're using something that is uh Oh that's that's what it is. Okay, so she just said what's going on. Oh no. It also took away my 
energy, so I couldn't use my my abilities. Holy bananas! Your desire is found wanting, thief. Farewell. No, no, no. Whew. I don't know why I'm still holding that, but apparently I must have done what I needed to do. <laughs> it was making me motion sick. Yeah, it can. It can. I think I've gotten used to it, but yeah. It can be a little much once once you get going. Um okay, I think we actually I think this thing upgraded a uh, one one rank. All right, and it still doesn't have any room for capacity though. Okay. Oh, this thing is so close to leveling. Okay. Excellent armaments, operator. Please return covered in blood. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Mobile defense. Invasion. All right, so we've opened the way to the junction. I, I honestly don't think we should be doing it, but who knows? All right, Shadow, take care, man. I'm actually, I, I, I got to cut stream in just a few minutes as well. Just wanted to see what exactly we have to finish up here in order to move on to the next planet. Um, defeat the sergeant at Iliad on Phobos. I believe Phobos is one of the um, moons. So we actually have to go up there to the right. Uh, we have to defeat. Defeat Lieutenant Lek Krill at war on Mars. Okay, we have actually got uh, got that unlocked. Um, refine a Void Relic once at the console in your orbiter. Refine it. Obtain Void Traces from Void Fissures to refine relics in your orbiter. Okay. We could probably just do that real quick then. Something's out there, dreamers. Okay. Um, Death cube. Oh. Exceptional. <gasps> Since I upgraded that, now it has the chance of dropping one of these. Yo, a Mesa Prime Blueprint. Operator, oh. are you enjoying the view? Cool. Okay. If that's if that did what I think it just did. Okay. Oops. Nope. Nope. Stop. Nope. I'm, I'm not ready. Wait, how is it? Oh, I think I can go to the junction, but it won't open the door because I'm not done. All right, so yeah, so that checked off that refined and avoided relic. So we have to defeat the sergeant and we have to defeat Lek, uh, Lieutenant Lek Krill. Cool. So now we know what we're going to be doing next time, I guess, that we play this game. Um, nice. Well, that's actually going to wrap things up here. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been awesome. I always enjoy playing this. It's a fun game. Uh, next time, I, I I really do think we're going to stick to actually playing Final Fantasy XIV next time. I swear. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. If anyone out there is new to the channel want to be informed of when I stream again, make sure to hit that follow button. I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We go until about 10 or 11. I also do bonus streams, uh, which is why you should hit that follow button so you know when those go live as well. Uh, yeah. But everyone, I hope you all have a great weekend and uh, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. Peace.